Hi everyone, this is Natasha and I wanted to share with you a Blitzy haul and this I think is actually three and I from the past week, week and a half or so. So I just put them all together rather than show you piecemeal. I may have already shown these in one of my other videos but I just wanted to show you specifically in this haul. It's a uh, one of the newer A2 packs. Um, there are seven templates and this is the Distressed Edges. It's one of the um, my most used um, shapes that I from Spellbinders. It's the Distressed Rectangles or Deckled Rectangles and this goes very nicely with them. You see all the shapes. So you can construct an entire card just using these. And then the other one is called um, Floral Ribbon Threader. And these are actually two different dies. It's the exterior piece and then the interior lace. Let me see if I can separate that for you and show you. I'm always very careful about taking these off of this industrial tape so I don't bend the actual die. Okay. You see that? This would make a very pretty doily frame or a card. So that's the, I think there's eight pieces in this one. Those are separate pieces too. The leaf and then the exterior and the petal and the interior. And then I picked up um, a, several of the embellishment pieces from Graphic 45's French Country. Um, this one is two sheets of double-sided cardstock, and I think it's the pockets. So they have crease lines for you to put these together. And I love this provincial French blue toile pattern uh, along with the flowers. I think I might have ordered just the sheets separately. I don't remember. Isn't that terrible when you can't remember? And I really like this one with the ledger and the Eiffel Tower and French script. Very pretty. So that's cardstock. These are chipboards and this is uh, chipboard 2. show you. And it is single sided because the back is just the regular organic chipboard looking stuff. Carte Postale and Bonjour. Very pretty. And this is the chipboard one. Try not to hit my tripod. My me, my friend, French country. I really like this provincial front, uh, blue. I think that's the name of the color. Merci. And roosters and chicks. And then this is the last piece that I picked up and it's a sticker sheet. So it's a 12 by 12 and what I think I really should have picked up, oh I think that is coming. I did place another order for, um, there's another 12 by 12 that has um, the letters, the letter stickers. I think it has three or four different designs and letter stickers so I did pick that up. Because at some point I will make uh, many of my chickens. Uh, poisson, no poisson is fish. And I almost said El Pollo, but the, yeah, that's in Spanish, El Pollo Loco. So, and it's a nice weight, but if you want to use these uh, as embellishment, you can certainly add them to, you know, stick them, because they're adhesive on one on, on the backs. Uh, you can atta attach it to a chipboard, a piece of chipboard, like, you know, these are tiny little pieces. You just can use your scraps and then cut around it. Or you could just use a brown um, cardstock and put that on and it just gives you just enough weight for it to be a little bit more of an embellishment. So there's the, little, the few things that I picked up from a Blitzy over the last week and a half or so. And um, I'll include um, a link in the description to my referral link just for those of you who are not familiar. Um, it is a referral uh, site with a referral bonus for those of you who log in or create your account under my referral link. Um, Blitzy will 
give me a $10 credit once you make your first purchase. In turn, once you create your account, which it's free to create, you will be given a URL, a web link that you can provide to your friends, family, and post on social media where you can earn $10 credits per referral. So it's a it's a nice way to try out products and spread the word. I think that, you know, it's all part of advertising, um, you know. So if you have any questions about any of these products, please feel free to leave me a comment. I'll play around with these dies and see. Um, maybe I'll create something and post it on my blog um, and on Facebook. If you don't follow me already, um, please feel free to link. Those will be provided in the description. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hi everyone, it's Natasha and um, I just did a video of Blitzy Hall with the um, Graphic 45's French Country Paper and I just received the second order that I placed for the other sticker, um, I think it's a sticker sheet, no, double-sided cardstock sheet. And then I did f forget to show you something. I got a uh, Movers and Shapers mini clock and pocket watch. And I don't know about you, but the, um, what is this part? Clock key. Doesn't it kind of look like fallopian tubes and uterus? Don't ask me why I, remember, why I think about that, but here. I also picked up a 6x6 pack of uh, glitz paper, and this is the Color Me Happy, and it is a very, very happy, double-sided, um, bright, kind of, almost boyish. Look at those cute little elephants. It's a really cute paper there. 24 pages, 12 double-sided of two of each pattern. And then this is the French Country cardstock sheet. And it is double sided and has all those banners. And then I did pick up the alphabet sticker sheet. So it's one, two, three, four alphabets and then some um, some of the words Mon ami, au roi, joie de vivre, je t'aime, amour, déjà vu. Bon chance! Good luck. It's really pretty. And then I picked up five sheets of this paper, and I believe this is uh, Provence. And it's that uh, creamy background with that kind of a slate blue, French provincial blue toile pattern with roosters and hens. And the back is a very fine flower pattern. So I picked up six sheets of that for hopefully that will um, allow me to make the whole mini that I want of my chicky chickies. So there you go. There's my second or blitzy haul part de. Oh, um, for these stickers that look like postage, I have a little trick. And you know how, um, for those of you who are familiar with Graphic 45, there is typically a postage stamp image and I use the edge of a fine punch to um, go along and punch alongside of it instead of having to cut that if you want the true or the definitive postage stamp look. There you go, there's my Blitzy haul. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe if you don't already, and I'll include a link, my referral link to Blitzy in the description below description box below for those of you who are not yet members it's free to sign up if you log in through my link or if you log or sign up under through my link I will receive a $10 credit in my account after your first purchase in turn you will receive your own referral link which you can share with your friends family and on social media where you can get people to sign up under your link and get $10 credits that's how I get all this luscious stuff, or most of it. There you go. Hopefully that answers all the questions. If not, just ask. Thanks for watching, everyone.